Well, folks, what's new with Switch 2 today? All right. I mean, look, if we're going to be completely honest, probably nothing that's really too big of a big deal because, again, Nintendo Switch 2 is not being revealed today, uh, tonight, tomorrow, whenever you're watching this, right? It's not revealed yet. So that is fascinating. But what if I told you there was at least an outside shot that it could be revealed next week? And we have some data. It, 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 it comes from our friend of the channel, Paul Gale Network, and I, I don't want to sit here and pretend that like this is some insider information and all of a sudden, yes, we are going to for sure get this thing announced next week, but there seems to be a relatively good chance why people think so, and we're not talking about rumors in this case. First, this goes all the way back to something Paul Gale posted back in September, but before we dive into that, I want to remind everyone that we are on our road to 140 thousand subscribers we're hoping to get there before the end of the year if you're enjoying this content and you want to stay up to date with everything switch to and nintendo in general all you got to do is subscribe to the channel also i'd appreciate if you would drop a like go down below and tell me what your favorite mario game is i'm actually kind of curious uh the I don't know, the different mindsets we have with Mario. Heck, you can include the spin-off games if you want. It doesn't even have to be mainline. All right, let's first off go over to where this all began back in September. When Paul Gale put out this tweet, and he said, I cannot verify this firsthand. So he's not like, you know, firsthand sourcing this. He's like a secondhand source. But something huge just came my way. Supposedly, quite recently, a trailer-like commercial was filmed to promote a certain next-generation console. If this is indeed the case, I think we are one to six weeks away from reveal. Now, he posted this all the way back on September 10th. This is important to remember because he said that this happened recently at that time. Now, he, again, not firsthand information for him, but we have to remember that Paul Gale Network actually appeared in two Nintendo Switch commercials he's also been to every single e3 he's been to like the the you know exclusive launch party for the nintendo park that opened up in california vip passes out at nintendo live etc 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 tons of public photos with him with a ton of nintendo executives and employees he clearly is a very connected person when it comes to nintendo but Obviously, with him being directly in Switch commercials, uh, I don't think he's in the Switch 2 commercial, and even if he was, he couldn't say it, but uh, he is saying that, hey, uh, at least the contacts he has, he has heard something. Now, what's interesting when we're looking at that is what he posted today, and this is where things start to get a little fascinating. So, when asked, when I think, and remember, this is his opinion, uh, Nintendo Switch 2 will be shown off, I said by October 24th, but I also did not believe it would be dropped right after Super Mario Jamboree, Mario Party Jamboree, this is on October 17th, by the way. For what it's worth, I have narrowed down to an October 10th reveal. The original Nintendo Switch trailer was filmed on Friday, September 16th, 2016, and 34 days later it was shown off, which was Thursday, October 20th. I don't know if this is the case, but if the trailer for Nintendo Switch 2 was filmed on Friday, Friday, September 6th, 2024, 34 days later, would be Thursday, October 10th. And again, he's basing this on his own experience shooting commercials for the Nintendo Switch, plus what he heard about there being this commercial being filmed. All right, so based off the chatter here and there, again, chatter, he's hearing some things, but not exact dates, right? The timing in which Nintendo reveals their next system is crucial they need to simultaneously maximize their existing earnings based off the chatter here and there that's my guess if the system does not get shown off this month then i am doubtful that it will be revealed in november or december and i think that february or even march are more likely than january as i shared in some previous posts the timing in which nintendo reveals their next system is crucial they need to simultaneously maximize their existing quarters where nintendo switch is their lead platform and persuade potential buyers of competing hardware to wait for nintendo switch to <clears throat> playstation 5 pro uh, optimistic me says october but realistic me has no problem if it's not shown off i think he meant until march We've got good games to play now and more on the horizon. It's just an exciting time whenever there is new hardware on the way. And yeah, it's exciting, of course. Uh, there was one other thing I, I wanted to, to bring up here, a, a reply he did uh, to somebody here, Dark Cloud, who said, people are reporting this like you know it's October 10th. And Paul Gale responded and said, it's definitely just my guess, but is it based on a few things? 
yeah, but I don't quote unquote know the date. So Paul Gale is saying, I don't actually know the date, but I came to the conclusion of October 10th because of a few things that he does know. Now, we know one thing he stated that he had heard is that when the commercial was shot and when he thinks it might be shot, but a few things. So maybe there's some other chatter going on that Paul Gale's obviously not revealing. And again, as we've noted previously, the connections Paul Gale has to companies and Nintendo themselves, it's pretty public and out there. Like we know that Paul Gale has connections in the industry. So October 10th, next week, the day after I do the hot chip challenge live on our podcast that would obviously make for an incredible podcast especially if nintendo announces the reveal is happening on the 10th on october 9th because that we could be on the eve of reveal really hyped about that while i'm enjoying my punishment of the bet i made in september it could just end up being kind of a poetic justice moment that being said uh i do think that we're at this point that I, I, I look. I just want Nintendo to reveal it. I think they should reveal it. Uh, a number of reasons. Obviously, the PlayStation Five Pro. Uh, you know, if Nintendo's trying to convince people that hey, maybe instead of buying that this holiday, wait for our new system next year. Uh, look, you gotta you gotta show the system, right? But besides that. Because I, I do really think the PlayStation 5 Pro appeals to like the 1% of 1% of PlayStation fans. I don't think that's going to prevent them uh, from buying PS5 Pro by revealing Switch 2. I do think that we've hit a point with all of the Switch 2 discussions that people are growing tired of them. I mean, I, I see your comments, and no matter how much I talk about how passionate and excited I am for this platform, it doesn't change that a lot of people are getting tired of it. And we're getting tired of it for some pretty obvious reasons and that is while well, we've been talking about a more powerful system since what 2019 2020 at least and original switch pro rumors date all the way back to 2017 and so when you go from switch pro right into switch 2 and you end up with like four or five years in a row where we keep talking about more powerful hardware coming it kind of gets infuriating and you would think that maybe we wouldn't get so upset this time around because Nintendo's already confirmed that this stuff is coming. They said back in May, hey, by the end of the fiscal year, we will have an announcement related to the Nintendo Switch successor. So Nintendo's already admitted to it. There's multiple spots at the Nintendo Museum where Nintendo is actually having like reserved spots to put in, you know, the Nintendo Switch 2. Uh, I, I know of at least two. There's one in the merch shop where they have like the, they have like these little cubes with the dates of uh, every single the year. Year, I should say of every single new system launch and yet there's an empty box in the upper left corner which is clearly going to be the year that uh, Nintendo Switch 2 launches and then there's obviously the controller section where hey there's like this 2020s thing in a giant blank spot which is clearly going to be the Nintendo Switch 2 so Nintendo Museum is already ready to implement certain things for Nintendo Switch 2 if and when it launches and Nintendo's already admitted publicly that it's coming so you would figure unlike the Switch Pro stuff we, Nintendo's confirmed that this stuff is happening and we're getting the announcement sometime within the next six months but the problem is that the conversation's been going on for so damn long that people are just kind of getting tired and i've been asked you know hey why don't you talk about a lot of other stuff but the, the interest level doesn't seem to to be there like echoes of wisdom like we're we have a huge topic on our podcast next week like we talk about the hot chip challenge and all that we the, maybe the biggest topic on the podcast is a in-depth conversational review of echoes of wisdom that we're going to be doing next week on wednesday and with that being such a massive topic how many people are going to tune in to watch that i don't know I honestly don't know because the general interest in Echoes of Wisdom doesn't seem to be as high. And that's despite the fact that it was the number one selling game in Japan last week, moved over 200,000 units and did sell more than Link's Awakening Remake did in its first week, showing that Echoes of Wisdom might be on a higher sales trajectory than the six or so million that uh, Link's Awakening ended up selling, which is awesome. And I really hope this game goes on to sell seven, eight, nine, maybe even breaking the 10 million uh, barrier for the first time for a top-down Zelda. That would just blow my mind. But here's the thing. People want what's next. Even as people complain, even as people are, you know, just 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 flabbergasted at the idea that people keep talking about this system in the end people just want it 
And I, I think that it shows in the views, not just on my channel, on everyone else's channel. They talk about Switch 2, and there'll be the, the fair share of complaints in the comments the conversation is happening, yet they're still clicking on it. It's almost like there's like a sort of a, a, an addiction, an addiction to have to click. If it's a Switch 2 video, I have to click on it. And I've noticed that even in my viewing habits. Set aside my videos. When I go look through my watch history, almost everything video game related I've been clicking on for the last four months has been Nintendo Switch 2 related conversations, either opinion pieces or just little, you know, side pieces of news. And some of it I haven't even covered because I didn't think it was worth covering, but I still enjoyed watching the video for it. So I sit back here and I do think it's truly time for Nintendo to reveal this system. And it's not just because of us people online. I think it's just the Nintendo community in general. This year has been sort of the B tier Nintendo year. And that doesn't mean insulting Echoes of Wisdom or, you know, obviously a thousand year door who would dare insult that game or Princess Peach Showtime or the new Mario Party game coming or Mario and Luigi. I'm not trying to insult them, but none of those are Nintendo's massive tentpole IPs. Now, Metroid Prime Beyond got a trailer this year, which is amazing and epic, but it's for 2025. We had the announcement of Pokemon Legends ZA for 2025. So Nintendo has two big games, but they're way off on the horizon in 2025. There isn't actually one of those big tentpole like Nintendo games this year. And I do give Nintendo credit for supporting Switch during what seems to be its last full calendar year with a game every single month being published like they've been doing the entire Switch generation. And massive kudos for Nintendo because Nintendo of yesteryear wouldn't be doing that. You would get a couple games and call it a day and they might not be big games. Instead, we've just had a number of smaller titles releasing every single month. And I do think that's awesome and amazing and certainly better than other unnamed platforms at this point uh, have been able to do but i do believe that it's not as hyped last year we had three major games that people got really hyped for right tears of the kingdom pikmin 4 mario wonder this year there is not a single game releasing on either three of those games level and i'm not talking about level in terms of sales level in terms of fan interest in hyping things so in the end, I'm going to sit back and go, the reason we need this system announced is because Nintendo's own audience is ready for it. I don't. I, I know we could talk about it hurting holiday sales, but it could also boost game sales. If there's backwards compatibility and it's shown off in the reveal trailer, that makes people confident to buy Switch games this holiday because they know they'll get to play them on that next system. And that's really where Nintendo makes most of their money. It's the game sales, not the hardware. But I digress. Nintendo could wait all the way until March. As Paul Gale said, it's okay if Nintendo does wait until March and this thing doesn't come out till September or November next year. It, that is perfectly okay. But I will say that for most of us, we're ready and I really hope that uh, Paul Gale's guesstimations, his predictions, based on some scant information that he is aware of, turns out to be right. Because I would sure as hell love a Nintendo Switch 2 reveal next week. And again, the only other week, as Paul Gale mentioned, you know, September 24th or October 24th, uh, that really feels like the other week this, this month that they could reveal it. Uh, and if it's not revealed this month, as I've said in other videos, I'm kind of off the 2024 bandwagon. I'm sorry, I've been on it for so long. But I kind of, at this point, think if it's not October, I don't see them announcing in November or December. I'm on Team 2025, and I do agree that January, I, I, I think, is out as well. Um, I'd almost think at this point, if it's not this month, then Nintendo's plan this whole time has always been to announce it in March. And that's okay. It's just a lot of us are going to be very, very anxious. And honestly, I think, the, I think what I've seen the, the most... Uh, if I'm completely honest, and this is just looking across every channel and every Nintendo YouTuber I watch and everything I'm seeing on different social medias, Nintendo fans are bored. <laughs> they're not just bored of Switch 2. They're just kind of bored. And I'm not saying that you guys aren't having fun with Echoes of Wisdom. I know I'm having a blast with it. But once we're done with that game, okay, Mario and Luigi, but all these games are short. 
You know what I mean? Like, we don't have games that were... There's no game coming out or has come out this year that any of us are sinking thousands of hours into. Maybe not even hundreds of hours. So people are getting kind of bored. If that's not a sign it's time for Nintendo to announce anything, like, soon, then I don't know what is. But for now, we live on hopium and copium, and I live for the kind of tweets that Paul Gale puts out who actually knows information, unlike someone like me that knows absolutely nothing. I'm just here to hype away. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Catch you in the next video.